welcome or welcome back to the Citizen Channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well on our regular features. The Odd Show as we look forward to the City Brighton game on uh, the 20th of April 2022. Yeah, 8pm kickoff. So we're going to have a look. Any value? Quite a difficult one this. Yeah, very hard. I found it really hard to find value. And uh, I've obviously done the charity bets. But uh, yeah, I did have to look long and hard to sort this one out, guys. It's quite hard to get some value on this one. Of course, the charity bets. Another win last week, even though obviously City didn't do the business at Wembley. Uh, obviously, we had under 10 corners, so that's what I put on. I, I lost the other one, of course. But uh, we still, that's five wins on the trot now for the for the charity. So we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take it on the chin, the loss. I, well, I took it on the chin, the loss. I, I cover all losses, of course, and all profits go to the Christie's. The, that's our nominated charity, uh, this football, to the end of this football season. So, of course, we'll always be a city leading in these. As I said, I'm very struggling a bit to find decent value on anything in brighton -ish, goal scorers, stuff like this. I've thrown a couple in, but nothing nothing I'm too sure about. Um, I know one of the guys who's been popping them in a couple of times, but uh, we'll have a look at that anyway. And please, I don't condone gambling anyway. And when the fun stops, stop. And, of course, always be gamble aware. I say, never, never chase your losses, stuff like this, guys. Just do it. For, try and do it for fun. Try and keep it to the minimum. Only, only have a bet we can afford. I mean... That's a, a simple rules, of course. Right, let's have a look at some value and let's see if we can get some six. Let's make it six on the trot for the Christie. Eh? Let, let's go for it also. Although I'm a bit a bit like that today, guys. But uh, all these prices are at the 18th of April, 2022. Yeah, the odds on the match itself, obviously, I, I took a chance on a draw against Liverpool, didn't I? That's where we lost out in 90 minutes. I thought we might go to extra time. Uh, close, uh, close. It could have been, couldn't it? You never know, just that last... Uh, a couple of minutes where we had shots flying in, going over the bar, etc. If, uh, if one of those had gone in, yeah, we would have had a, a, a more successful week on the on the bets and obviously as a football team as well. So anyway, on the match, uh, City are 1-5 to five on, so again, far too restricted to have a, a look at that. If you fancy the draw, let's hope not, 11-2. to two. If you fancy Brighton to win, you can actually get 18-1 to one in a, a couple of bookmakers, but generally it's 14-1 to one for Brighton to win this game. And if you fancied the league title, of course, uh, well, City, I think, are two to five on at the moment before this Brighton game. Uh, Liverpool are two to one again, so still firm favourites. Even though I say we need a need a few uh, wins up our, under our belt, don't we? Moving forward, I think to give us all that confidence back. And if you watch my preview show, I've, I've done an eleven and I've had a little either or because I'm not too sure about KDB, so I've stuck either KDB or Gundogan in. So this is my team: Edison, Stones, Diaz, Laporte, Cancelo, Rodri, KDB. You've not Gundo, Bernardo, Mares, Foden, and Grealish. So that's my starting eleven. If I get six or seven of those, right, I'll be quite happy because I, uh, I think this play, players like Jesus and Sterling. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Pep sticks those in and. Obviously, it depends if everyone's fully fit. I know we had we had most of the bench not fully fit, apparently against Liverpool. So who knows? Who knows who's going to be fit? First goal scorer get nine to two on Marez. Get five to one on Foden. KDB first goal scorer. What will he play? That's the problem. Get six to one. Good Doan thirteen to two. Bernardo seven to one. Grealish fifteen to two. Perhaps he's got his shooting boots on now. Grealish. So uh, after that Wembley, hey, let's let's hope so. If if he does play, uh, you'll you'll know why in a second. Uh, more pay uh, from um, from Brighton is twelve to one, but Trossard, I think he scored their last minute goal in the last game. He's twenty two to one, so that that seems an interesting proposition. But any time goal scorer, yeah, you got Gundogan at eleven to five, of course, if he starts instead of KDB and Bernardo and Grealish are both five to two. And I've took a chance. I've took a chance on Grealish. Uh, you probably call me crazy, but I say uh, I'm hoping after that goal at Wembley, it'll inspire him. Uh, to go on and score in this, so let's hope he's got his eye in. And I've got five to two uh, on that as well, so I got that for the Christie. That's my first of the two charity bets today. Yeah, Grealish, any time goal scorer at five to two. And if you did fancy Trossard, as I said, I said he did get the goal last time. Uh, he's nine to one, so that's not a bad price for for Brighton fans. I won't, I won't tell you City fans to do that for Brighton. It's fine. Both teams to score. Yeah, I think this is a possibility. I was I was tempted. I was tempted because yes, he's eleven to eight again. 
against and know he's 8 to 15 on. So I was tempted with that. I, ne- I nearly went for that one, but I didn't because it's some stuff I do sometimes, but I just bottled out of it, but I certainly won't put you off. Correct scores, a City 1-0 win is 13 to 2, a 2-0 win is 5 to 1, a 2-1 is 10 to 1, a 3-0 is 6 is 6 to 1, a 3-1 12 to 1 we bet 3-6-5, a 4-0 is 10 to 1 and a 4-1 is 20 to 1 we bet 365. If we if we draw, God forbid, uh nil nil sixteens, one one twelves and two two thirty three to one. Clickety well, clickety click sixty six and two no thirty three, whatever that is, half a clickety click, whatever, whatever that is. And of course for Brighton fans, if you fancy a Brighton win a one nil he had thirty five to one uh, from two or three bookies. Uh, but Coral are offering offering fifty to one on a two one win. Not beyond the realms of imagination, is it? If all things go to pot for City, half time, full time. Well, City, City, three to four on. Interesting. Draw and City three to one. Now, I'm, I don't want this to be a draw at half time. I want City to be winning at half time. So I've gone. We've, we've done this before. Half time, full time. I've gone City, City. I've put my faith in them that we'll be leading at half time and leading at full time. They have let me down once or twice, as you know. But uh, so I've got that City, City, half time, full time, and that's my second charity bet. And I got at point seven one. So not quite as high as the bookmakers. I've had to do that on the exchanges, but uh, not too far out. There'll be a little bit of commission, but probably about point seven on that one if it comes in. So. Uh, that's my second and final charity bet of the week. Goals over under, uh, under three and a half, eight to fifteen. I think that's very very likely. That's that's my prior, you know, my more likely score. Not great value though, is it? Eight to fifteen. Over two and a half is eight to thirteen. That's better. Three goals in the game. Probably I've been caught out by this a few times recently, but that that sounds okay. Under two and a half. Again, very feasible. Thirteen to ten on, uh, thirteen to ten against. So that that's not a bad price. And over three and a half, I don't know. I mean, we could have a, we could blitz them. Uh, we could do another four one as we did at their place. But uh, over three and a half, six to four. Not a bad price. And finally, just before we go, winning margin. Again, I was looking at this and I was going to go perhaps a two goal or three goal winning margin and dutch it or, or even do all three and you can still make money. If you do a one goal City winning margin, it's three to one. A two goal City winning margin is 11 to four and the three goal is four to one. So you could actually do all three and still be in profit. But uh, yeah, I bottled out, as you know, because I've already done my charity bets. But yeah, I certainly a two or three perhaps, or, or a one and three. How about, about splitting the difference? A one goal winning margin and a three goal winning margin. Uh, worst case scenario, you, you're up two, aren't you? So obviously one that's, one's at three to one, one's at four to one. So anyway, I didn't do that. As I said, my two charity bets this week, please keep your fingers crossed for us, guys. And let me know what you're having a bet on as well. Let me know what you've done. Or even after the event, let me know if you've... If, if you've Pick the first goal score, a, a big a big price, anything like that. Just let me know how we get on. It's great to hear from you anyway. Let me know how you're doing. So my two charity bets, of course, Grealish, anytime goal scorer at five to two. And the other one for charity is half time, full time, city city at point seven one. So please, guys, please check out my little preview show as well. If you've got any information as to how I got to my start in the 11, there is some logic there behind behind it all. And, of course, if you can watch my City vs Brighton history show that goes back to 1985 and a Canon League Division 2 f- uh, fixture uh, between uh, City and Brighton back in 1985. Canon League Division 2, eh? Happy days, happy days. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please, until we meet again, I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.